You know, the word health in Sanskrit means to be established in self. It is body, mind and spirit has to be in a harmony. We have seven layers to our existence. That is body, breath, mind, intellect, memory, ego and the self. So we need to learn a little bit about all these and techniques to keep them healthy and keep them in harmony. And that's what yoga and sudarshan kriya is all about. You know, so if we attend to our breath and meditation, few minutes of meditation, our whole system gets rejuvenated. I would say there are four sources of energy. The first is food, second is good sleep, and third is breathing, and the fourth is meditation. So, attending to these four important sources of energy, we can restore our health. So much uh, benefits they get. There are many, many benefits that breathing exercise can bring into our life. You know, a violence-free society, disease-free body, Confusion free mind, inhibition free intellect, trauma free memory and sorrow free soul. This is what one can achieve by learning about breath, by learning about meditation. You know 90% of the impurity in the system goes out through the breath. But we use only 30% of our lung capacity. Breath is linked to different emotions. When we are happy, we breathe differently. When we are stressed, we breathe differently. When we have anxiety, the pattern of our breath is different. You know, by manipulating the breathing, you can change the emotions. And if you can change the emotion, it, it affects the endocrine system. So different breathing patterns, different breathing techniques are taught. That's what is in an Art of Living course, the part when course of Art of Living teaches you various uh, different types of breathing exercises combined with meditation and several other techniques of self-awareness which in total uplift the spirit and millions of and millions of people around the world are doing it has been so effective and it's so uh, heartwarming to see that transformation. You know, I would use the example of a cell phone. Your cell phone needs charging. You need to charge your cell phone. When the charge goes out, you dial the number and keep saying hello, hello, nothing will happen because battery has died out, charge has gone. You know, you need to recharge the cells, recharge your batteries. And you have to change your SIM card if it is necessary. You have to charge your SIM card. If the SIM card has no charge, call doesn't go through. So, meditation is like charging the SIM card. Breathing is like charging the battery of the cell phone. So, both are essential in order to communicate. So, communicate with ourselves, communicate with the universe around us. You know, we speak through our vibrations. If our vibrations is all stressed up, then we convey only stress and we create repulsion among people around us. That's why so many conflicts happen. But when we cleanse our presence, I would say, our vibrations through pranayam, through sudarshan kriya especially and meditation, our, our vibrations become so pleasant, and so palatable, so positive and we create positivity in our atmosphere. And that's so essential today. See, uh, in Europe alone, now about 30% of the population is affected by depression. And what the scientists, sociologists say that in another 10 years, it will come to 50% of the population and that's alarming. We can't let half the population become depressed. We need to do something now to bring back change in the lifestyle.
that is to add some of these techniques in your day to day routine you don't have to change your lifestyle but you need to add something to our lifestyle that would enable us to be more free from stress tension and will allow us to smile more and more no no you don't need to change your personal life all that you need is to add something to your personal life then you know you can get uh, control over your addictions if you are addicted to cigarette or you are an alcoholic or drug abuse all these things those which are not supportive to life uh, you can get away from them you can easily cope up without these addictions get away from the addictions it helps you and it gives more energy to your day to day life energy and enthusiasm is needed in any business or any work that you do right if you are a professional you need energy and enthusiasm if you are an artist you need imagination and enthusiasm and uh, if you are a businessman you need intuitive power and enthusiasm by meditation what happens your intuitive power improves your energy level improves our your enthusiasm comes up and creativity comes up so i have found it very useful to people of all walks of life of course the religious and spiritual people they they are able to go deep in their prayers as well 